What's up guys, this is Josh here. The IRS says that many people are throwing away their prepaid stimulus cards by mistake. In this video today, I'm going to cover what you should be looking for to make sure that this doesn't happen to you. And also we're going to address the millions of people out there that are still waiting on their stimulus payment. And some of the payments said that it was in the mail on January the 6th and they still haven't received their payments. I have news for you. And the people out there that don't normally file like if you're on SSI or anything like that and there's a lot of questions out there about how you can get your money we're gonna cover that too in this short video but before we get started if you like and appreciate these quick video updates make sure that you go on and obliterate that like button and if you're not already a part of the viewing community and you're looking for ways that you can save make money and you're interested in all things related to your finances go ahead and click that red subscribe button until it turns gray and that way you don't miss anything and be sure that you click the link down in the description box below and that way you can get some free stock with robin hood Many people have left me comments worried that they have not received their stimulus payments in the mail because they received the date that the IRS sent out their payment on January the 6th. However, the IRS did say that it will take three to four weeks for the payments to arrive in the mail. So the only thing that I can say right now is give it some time because lawmakers only gave the Treasury and the IRS 17 days to attempt to send out millions of payments. But have the IRS made some mistakes? Yes. But what happened is that they were trying to get out so many payments to millions of Americans and they only had 17 days to do it. And you know, whenever you begin to rush, it's easier for you to make mistakes. I'm sure that the men and women at the post office are working hard on their jobs to get those payments to you, considering that their jobs and the funding at the post office was recently cut and not to mention the recent decommission of all of those sorting machines. But some good news is I'm starting to see comments from people following back up with me here in the community saying that their payments are beginning to arrive in the mail. When the first stimulus payments were being sent out, some people mistook those white envelopes that the debit cards are in as junk mail or thought it was a scam. The Visa debit card should be arriving in a white envelope from economic impact payment card. The card inside should have a visa on the front and the issuing bank, which should be MetaBank on the back. Details on how to activate your card should be included in the envelope. You should not have to give any personal information like your social security number or anything like that to activate your card. Just because someone receives a paper check or a debit card for the first stimulus check, that doesn't mean that they will receive their money on the second round the same way. The agency already has stressed that it doesn't determine who receives prepaid debit cards and who doesn't. Many people received their payments through direct deposit. However, many people did not. If your money was being sent to a closed account, that money would have been sent back to the IRS you will have to file for your rebate. This is not Joshua saying this. This is what the IRS website is saying. You can track your payment by using the Get My Payment tool. However, one thing that I found out due to high demand that the Get My Payment tool is not the most accurate thing out there. Just saying. I would recommend you viewing your online IRS transcript. I posted a video and I'm going to leave the link down in the description box below on the steps how you can look at your IRS online transcript, which I have been told by many people in this community that their transcript was given more accurate information than the Get My Payment tool. Be mindful. By looking at your online transcript and by setting that up, you will have to enter personal information and they will use that to verify that it is your account. So you will have to verify your account number with one of the following. You may have to use your credit card, your mortgage statement, a car loan, a student loan, a HELOC, and also you will have to have a mobile phone number that's tied to your name. And if you received the message on the Get My Payment tool, payment 
payment status number two not available, you will have to file. And that's according to the IRS in order to get your money. However, there's been a lot of people out there who received that message because the get my payment tool told them that the information wasn't available, but they went over to their IRS online transcript and it told them otherwise and they received their money. So that's why I'm encouraging people just don't go just based off of the get my payment tool, but the IRS online transcript just compare the information because if they're saying two different things, you might just want to err on the side of the transcript because that's more of your official record with the IRS. The IRS hired 3,500 phone operators to help fill incoming calls about the stimulus checks. Now the website implores you not to call. If you have a specific question about your money and your circumstances, I'm telling you that you probably should call. I called a few times and I was given great information. No one would look out for you like you would. So don't allow others to tell you not to inquire about your money because one is your money and your money is your livelihood. And if you are a non-filer on SSI, the IRS states that you will still have to file the 1040 form on their website if you did not receive your payment. And seniors should use the 1040 SR. I show you how to locate all of this information on the video right there on your screen and I will walk you right through it. Subscribe by clicking the icon right here and I will see you in the next video.